I don't know where I'm going. I could go anywhere. La Rosa. Champion Australia. I kind of want to see what's this. I could go shopping. Welcome. Fabric. And some cool clothes. How much money I got? 150. I don't got enough. Some of these jackets are cool, though. I gotta leave. Bye. I don't have enough money at all. What's this? You approach the historic El Garino Theater and it's remarkably unhistoric ticket machines. Holy smokes! As you leave, you notice the Los Angeles Ballet Company is visiting, visiting later this summer. Okay. Date Brooks. La Rosa date. Meet new people. Let's meet new people. I don't know how these dates go. Hmm? Bouncer. Lola. Name? I'm with Sunder. The bouncer clips the velvet rope and you step inside. Sunder is venting to a woman sitting next to him in the VIP area. Hmm. But I just can't feel a real connection, you know? Mm -hmm. Join the club. And without love, what's the point? Hey, Lola, do you believe in soulmates? I want to. Sunder hesitates, eyeing you. You wonder if you said something wrong. Uh -huh. Me too. I just keep getting so disappointed, I'm not sure anymore. Love rank one. Finishers cause enemies to bleed. So the higher my love rank, the better the attacks? That's pretty awesome. They make it look so easy in the movies. Ugh. Romance has been dead at least 500 years. What's your name? Yeah, so Lola, this is Mandy. She's my business partner, co-owner of the club. Charmed, I'm sure. And what kind of sword do you turn into? I don't turn into a sword. Ugh. No, he's a wielder. I literally told you five minutes ago. Are you listening at all? Mm. What do you say? Nah. You know. Never mind. This is a good song. It's time to dance. Mm -hmm. I'm feeling healed from my abduction and dunge outing. What about you? Let's dance. <clears throat> yes, tonight. We dance like we're gonna die in 50 years. Woo! Uh... <laughs> what? We are? Whatever, idiot. Mandy kisses the bouncer on the cheek as she leads you and Sunder to the dance floor. Sunder mostly sways and sips his drink, but Mandy dances with abandon. You can feel the music dumping in your chest. Play it cool? Try some dance moves. I'll, obviously, I'm going to make them laugh with my horrible dance moves. You take a chance and put your heart in every move motion. Mandy takes it as an invitation to dance very, very close to you. Yeah, get over here, Mandy. Sunder smiles and leaves the dance floor in the direction of the bathroom. Mandy leans in, her breath warm in your ear. You should really be careful, little one. Sunder eats up lovers one by one. He seems nice, but he's double-edged. I know you said you're looking for a soulmate, so... Believe me, Sunder isn't it. He lies. And he's dangerous. Sunder's using you. Part of it is his addiction. But he's too selfish and violent to be a good boyfriend. Then why are you his friend? I'd rather be with you. <laughs> are you talking about drugs? Violent. I want to say I'd rather be with you. <laughs> Mandy's lips curve in a smirk. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's not going to happen. Sorry, kitten. But I like you. You're sweet. I'm just trying to help. Be careful. <sighs> anyway, I'm gonna go. Good luck. Mandy kisses you on the cheek and leaves. Mandy's cool. The crowd parts around a sword that seems to be dancing its way toward you. Mandy left, huh? Just us two now. Let's enjoy this moment while we can. I prefer your human form. I'm... I'm leaving too. She warned me about you. Hey. She warned me to stay away from you. She what now? 
Hold on. We should talk about this while I'm in my inhuman form. I want to look into your eyes. I'll just have to prove her wrong. Everyone's done things they're ashamed of. <clears throat> but I'm a good person. I'll be good to you. Let's just keep it casual. <laughs> yeah, let's keep it casual. Trust me, we'll conquer the dunge and have a great time together, too. I hope so. He just smiles and leads you back into the busiest part of the dance floor. You dance together late into the night until you're breathless and sweaty. Eventually, the night is over. You head home. I would love to go into the dunge. All right, let's see, let's see, let's see. I'm getting too many messages. Let's, what is going on? Hey, I'm really glad Jesse introduced us. Hi. You should come by Naked Steel sometime. Our skimitars have scintillating curves. Special price for a special guy. What'd you say? I'll think about it. No thanks. See you there. I'll be waiting and hoping. Mom. Honey, I know you've always been afraid of change, and I'm glad you're facing your fears. I believe in you. But Jesse says you're fighting monsters. I hope you'd pick a less dangerous career like cobra wrestling or <laughs> wreck diving. Cobra wrestling and wreck diving? <laughs> I'll have, I have hair care. I'll be careful, Mom. It's perfectly safe. I'm not going to lie to my mom. I'll be careful, Mom. Good. That's my boy. If something happened to you, I don't know what I'd do. Of course, I support you no matter what, but be safe. I will. Thank you. Thanks, Mom. Hey, cutie. Sorry if I'm too flirty. You can tell me to back off, but this is how I am. You're a good dancer. You are too. Back off a little. Is that cold for something? <laughs> is that code for something? Only if you want it to be. Let's go again sometime. Jesse, geez, where to begin? Okay, I, I think that's that's it for messages. Yeah, time to leave. Let's just roam the city. I don't know. Do stuff. Dunge. I would like to dunge. I want to go back over here. Add my love rank. You stopped at Isaac's office by his assistant. Excuse me, do you have an appointment with Mr. Brooks? Yes. Well, hello. Lola, you made it. Kristen, Lola is always welcome here. Yes, Mr. Brooks. It's good to see you. I was hoping you would take up my offer. Let's begin. Do you prefer foil, saber, or epee? Can I can I wield you? Um, I don't know what any of this is. I'm gonna pick sabery. Mm -hmm. So you you wish you were more quick and decisive. Interesting. We shall see. Now ready yourself. Don't mind the office equipment. I do this all the time. He shrugs on his fencing gear with practice ease. Now stand straight up with your blade out towards my heart. Turn to regard me at, from the side over your shoulder and hip. This is the on guard stance. You're quite literally on guard. We will begin with the basic movement. Looking into my eyes, advance towards me Front foot, then back foot. Step forward, lunge forward. Oh? Oh, one step at a time. This is an anger management class. Please be patient, trust me. Now in foul, foil, you can only score by hitting the torso. In sa Sabri, the upper body. But in the dungeons, you don't need to score points with any judge. I suppose that means we should use Ipe rules. Any hit counts. Let's try a lunge attack like the one you attempted earlier. Extend your front leg with all your weight. 
keeping your front foot flat, no bent ankle. You lunge heavily forward, feeling a little awkward. <laughs> Not bad, you have talent. Riposte. Holding roll lets you counter attack if used just before an incoming attack. Nice, a counter attack. Oh, it looks like we've reached a new level of understanding, so now you can parry with me. The more time we spend together, the better we'll be able to fight together. This means something different for each weapon, but for me, parrying is a friend's only maneuver. To parry in the dungeon, hold dodge just before the enemy attacks. Attack hits to automatically counter. That's a special move only you and I can do together, so don't forget. You can also check out our parry in the combo details in your phone later. But for now, shall we take a break? He loosens his gloves and removes his fencing jacket. Mm. If you'd like to keep training with me, perhaps we should get to know each other better. Where are you from? What do you do? Should we get dinner? Mm -mm. Sorry, but I have an appointment this afternoon. Soon, actually. Thank you for asking, though. What about you? You're a dashing dunge hero now, right? Mm. What do your parents think about your dangerous profession? Do, you, do they approve? Mom always supports me. Dungeons are a family tradition. Mom always supports me. I'm glad she respects your choices. It's heartening to know that such parents exist. Does your mother adopt? Isaac falls silent for a moment, thoughtful. Mm. I do prefer life on a straight and narrow. There's a knock on the door. One minute, please. Isaac, what are you doing? Who is this? Shouldn't you be working? I said one minute, please. You can wait in the lobby. <sighs> So you're just going to keep a guest waiting while you faff about? Mm. Vincent, you're 20 minutes early for our appointment. I thought I might have some priority in life of my only child. Awkward. I'll go now. Pleasure to meet you, Mr. Brooks. I'm sure meeting me is probably the highlight of your week. He is rude. Mm. I'm terribly sorry, Lola. It seems I am occupied. I'll text you to set up our next appointment. You're texting now? What's next in your slumming schedule? Will you drink water from plastic bottles too? Horrifying. <sighs> Are there any deaths you won't stoop to? Wow, that's a very crazy father. I'm going to eavesdrop. <laughs> you slip out the door and eavesdrop. You hear Vincent yell about having low standards and making disgraceful choices. Isaac responds too quietly for you to hear. You head home. Wow. Hey, you up? Maybe. Heh. I was just feeling extra sharp today. Picks or it didn't happen. Tell me more. K. Picks or it didn't happen. <laughs> oh, A plus. I want to kiss it. A. <laughs> A plus. I want to see. I'm blush blushing, but it's more than that. Maybe I'll show you more sometime. See you in the dunge. Got another message from mom. Jesse says you went on a date. They better have treated you well. You only deserve the best, you know? Mom, stop. <laughs> Thanks, mom. <laughs> sorry, sorry. I'll let you do your thing. But if they hurt you, tell me. Mama will take care of it. Mom's awesome. Eric, it's crazy Jesse has a cousin like you. He's a loser or was in high school. No offense. That's mean. You're a lo you're the loser. No offense. He's doing fine. Sure, as long as someone else does the work. Talk to you talk to you later, Hottie. Don't call me that. No. Talk to you later. Yep. Isaac. Sorry we were interrupted, but do you care for business talk? I love it. Perhaps I'll advise you when I'm next audited. Then I'm not a fan myself. Maybe I'll explain how I got into this someday. All right. All right, let's leave. All right, let's see what we're doing. I think I'm going to have to go into the dunge. 
let's go to Naked Steel first, I guess. I don't have enough money. Let's go into the dunge. I need more money. I want to try out a new sword. For Onoma, Dungeon Fear. What do monsters shop for? I do like these attacks. I lose health way too quickly. Holy smokes. We did it, but I have no, no more health items. This is bad. I am way too weak. What's this? How do I do the finisher? I don't know. I'm gonna die. Second floor? Yeah, next level. Come on. Oh, a new sword. The hilt is wrapped in several layers of leather and the double-edged blade is chipped. What the hell? Could you not just, like, grab me without warning? I know tradition is all choose your weapon, but consent is important. Yeah, I'm, I'm sorry. No, it's okay. I'm sorry, too. I didn't mean to snap. I just... I'm not sure what's going on. I'm not sure what's going I on either. I was out at night, as you do, and then... Bam! I'm here. My blade hurts. Monsters everywhere. I'm Valeria. Nice to meet you. Valeria. Sort of. That's interesting. My brother is actually planning to name his daughter, who's going to be born in the next few months, Valeria. Are you also a person? You were abducted? I uh guess so. And damaged, too. Normally, I'd switch to human form around now, to be polite. But I don't know you. I'm still recovering from whatever just happened. I'd rather play it safe. That's true. You can heal faster and in that I'm form. And I'm certainly not going to put myself in a stranger's hands and let you use me. Fair enough. I'm a good person. I'll trust you too. Uh, I can take care of myself. Mostly. I could use some extra cash though, so... I'll keep in touch. Ah, okay, so we could go to the dungeons together. Ciao, for now. Ciao. Take care. Please get better. I want to see how she looks. There's two routes to take. I want to take this route. Oh! Uh, it's okay if you fail. I'm right here. You save me. You save me. I suck at this. <laughs> this is actually much harder than I was expecting. Jesse said you're fighting your inner demons in Dunge. Who messaged me? So, okay. Hey, this is that dagger you met. Name's Valeria. Want to meet up sometime? Sure. All right, mom. 
Jesse said you're fighting your inner demons in Dunge. So it's kind of like therapy, but with swords. Yeah. Yeah? Well, that's good. Sounds healthier than I thought. At least if you don't take any permanent damage, therapy is important, especially when you're feeling on edge. I never told you this, but I went to therapy for 12 years. It helped me grow and level up as a person. 12 years? Are you okay? I'll try to do the same. I just like to fight. 12 years? Mom, are you okay? Yeah, it's totally normal, kiddo. No worries. I like the messages in this game. Uh, All I have is enough for another bracelet, which I don't want to... Do I got more messages? What's going on? Y'all want to meet up? Meet me! Where am I meeting you? I feel like you're going to be expensive, dude. Where? I guess I'm not... Okay, I guess... Last date, right? Last date here. The shop smells of dust and oil. You spot Eric behind the register reading a book. Oh, you came. Oh, Lola, you Hi. came. I'm so glad you're here. Slow, slow day? Nice shop. Thanks. We just restocked our spadroon supply. I have no clue what any of that is. Let me give you a tour. Yeah, give me one. Verona Beach knuckleheads mostly want switchblades and razors, but we carry the finest blades. Some even made on site in my private smithery. I also teach classes at Verona Beach College about the history of war. Hmm. Tell me, what's your favorite weapon? Towerware, dagger, estoc. I don't know any of these. What's towerware? Estoc is the the rapier. Tower. Hmm. Interesting. Most people know the skimatar, but you're into rarities. Hmm. Ah. Wait, you mean a weapon person, right? Of course. Jeez, he's like he's he's like the version of racism, but with weapon people. It's naturally fascinating wielding someone else in battle, trusting them with your life. Sometimes I wonder who Exc Excalibur would transform into if it were a person. But then I remember Sun Tzu and Napoleon and Genghis Khan. People win wars, Lola, not weapons. Weapons are just tools. Wielders make the decisions, the strategies, the tactics. It's not polite to say, and pure humans are, aren't superior, but truth is we're better suited for to leadership. Obviously, if you say so, pure, that's ridiculous. If you say so, you don't have to be shy about your unpopular opinions. Mm -hmm. I knew you'd feel the same way. You're a smart guy. You see the world how it really is, like me. Mm -hmm. I have a little project I think you'd be interested in. I'm forging a new and improved kind of weapon. Way smarter than that idiot Tao War you like so much. Hmm. I don't know what to call this supreme sword yet. Why? You can forge people? Name it after me. Interested? Hmm. For my next project, maybe I should make one for you. Ah. The Lola Blade. Wait, what about the Eric Blade? No, I, I like the Lola Blade. That has quite a ring to it. You're a font of inspiration. He's blushing. Even though the blade itself doesn't really need to be fancy. Hmm. I just want to make a weapon with a little bit of intelligence. It doesn't need its own thoughts and feelings and baggage. Think of it, the ultimate weapon with all the tactical insights and none of the drama. That actually makes sense. Uh, you want it to be mindless? Control freak much? That No, that actually makes sense. Thanks for saying. So many wielders aren't bleeding hearts. But reality is harsh the way I see it. A perfect servant will always be more loyal than an equal. I wasn't thinking of the weapon as a servant. I was just thinking the weapon will be efficient if it has its own AI, pretty much. The sooner you realize you can only rely on yourself, the better warrior you'll be. Hmm. Wire. Plastic. I don't want to buy your stuff. Now, what can I help you with? I don't want any of this. I'm offering a little discount. I don't have cloth to pay for this. 
And I already got enough wire. Catch you on the sharp side, cutie. Stop calling me cutie. He's a little bit annoying. So I guess now you see why I prefer steel weapons to each their own. Exactly. To each their own. Wait, are you still talking? I mean, there isn't anything wrong with weapon people. They're just not for me. Can't really expect a person to sit in a case looking pretty all day, can you? Sit in a case? You could pay them. No, you can't expect them to sit in a case. They're not going to sit in a case. All right. That was that was quite strange, guy. Quite strange. Guess I'm going to the dungeon again. Oh, I can't I can't use her. All right. Uh Where is this chick? Is she at the beach? Can I leave this? Nope. I guess I gotta go to the dungeon again. I need more money! I would like to... T I didn't know he was a tail war. Alright, I wanna try the... Escot again. Dungeon fear unidentified. Okay. Ow! Well, that could have gone much worse. I guess. Hey, replenished. Okay, I gotta hold it. Am I gonna meet a new, uh... Yeah, we're going same character, next level. This gotta be my last round. This is getting easier. I say that now. Okay. All right. Stop chasing me! Oh! Oh! I so totally thought I had that. Woo! I got a lot of experience to do that one. I did get further, and I do like that uh, that uh, parry attack. So that's pretty awesome. So the more I use them, time spent together. The more I use them, the more love points I get. That's cool. I go to the hospital a lot. I get hurt a lot. <laughs> Who talking to me? Who talking? I was so worried when you went off to VB on your own, but you're doing great. Facing fears, finding friends. I'm amazed. It makes me proud. My little baby bird flying on his own. You don't miss me. It's hard without you. I know, sweetie, sweetheart. You're doing something really hard and brave, but this is important, and independence is part of growing up. I'll be here when you need me. You'll always be my son.
Was thinking of going to the park. You free? Sounds good. I'm going to ask her for a drink. See you by the pond. All right. So I'm going to call it quits for now, guys. But thank you for joining me. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.